Hello tribe, today I just want to talk a little bit about dreams. I hope everyone's doing awesome and dreaming and sleeping and doing all the things that helps our bodies relax. So on that note, um, let's talk about dreams. Well, first of all, dreaming, aka sleeping, is super, super duper important for your body. I mean, as a massage therapist, I cannot recommend that you get enough sleep and that's sleep for your body right like they could recommend sometimes seven eight hours but sometimes six hours is enough right so definitely get enough sleep that makes you feel good and then nap nap in between so on that note about napping um let's talk about dreams themselves there's a couple of things i want to talk about <laughs> regarding dreams because recently i've had some very interesting dreams and what i want to sort of bring to light is that dreams are really good not only at helping you sort of decompress right um, it helps your body it's kind of like the pensive in um, in Harry Potter it helps you kind of dump all the junk that you've had throughout your in your mind throughout the day in the dream itself and sometimes you know it doesn't make any sense it's, it's a jumble and sometimes it actually brings clarity right so one it helps you sort of decompress and process some of the stuff in, that's been going on in your day but it might also give you answers. And I guess this is the important part I wanted to mention because I've had very interesting dreams where there are either people or, or symbols or whatnot that answer a question or help me understand and bring clarity around something that I'm feeling about a particular topic. So it's interesting because I, I took a nap and I love to take naps during the days, you know, around lunchtime, just because I feel like it helps me decompress and I also meditate and all that good stuff as well, but I find that um, being in a sleep state or maybe even taking a nap after meditating helps me really process and decompress my body so that I can t continue the rest of my day. But um, lately I've been having some interesting dreams about um, different things in my life. So recently I had a dream, of, uh, a coach appeared, one of my old coaches appeared in my dream and she actually brought to light something that I hadn't even thought of, an, an emotion or feeling that I had thought of, of, you know, putting something out there into the world that in my mind, I guess I didn't know it, but subconsciously I thought um, that, oh, it's been done before, why should I do it, right? Well, in my dream, she said, girl, don't worry about it. Just because it's been done before, it doesn't mean that it can't be done by you. And it just, it was like, whoa, where did that come from, right? So the other thing <laughs> is that um, sometimes it's related to physical stuff that's going on in your, in, your, in your body, right? I also had a dream once where um, in my dream I had this physical pain on my left rib. And then when I woke up, it turned out that I was like in a really awkward like sleeping position. So my rib was actually hurting. <laughs> so in my dream, it actually manifested as a, a discomfort. And even in my dream, I started like stretching my arm out and like, you know, helping my body sort of decompress from what was actually happening in real life. And then I've had several really interesting dream about, um, you know, sort of higher conscious growth, like, you know, growing as a person, growing as an individual, um, getting people together, merging tribes, creating groups. Um, and that's kind of been symbolic of some of the things that I've been doing in real life as well. And that was a nice um, sort of nod and yes, okay, good, cool. And it actually felt good, right? Because part of the key to this is also uh, making sure that whatever is happening in your dream, see what you feel about it. Like, does it feel good? Does it feel off? Does it feel uncomfortable? Um, you know, what is it about it that you feel? And then lastly, I want to talk about um, how what symbols mean, because symbols can also mean um, different things to different people. So, that means that a symbol that happens in your dream could mean, let's say you have a car in your dream and it means travel for you into another person, travel in their dreams might be, you know, they're having some car trouble and they've been thinking about their car, right? So it's not, don't take it just for the face value. Oh, it's my car. What's wrong with my car? It could be something else. It could be, I'm about to travel and it's symbolic of going places or something like that. So make sure you, you know, interpret it and see how you feel about it. I will tell you one interesting one that I had, which was about um, an, an ex-boyfriend that I dated. And I thought, wow, what's he doing showing up in my dream? And it turned out that he represented someone else that was in my life. So it's interesting how sometimes what you think it is isn't necessarily what it is. And when you wake up and process it, you're like, wait, actually, the feeling I got from that guy was thinking about someone else. So, you know, really think closely about what these mean, dreams actually mean to you. And then um, the last thing I will I'll mention after the last thing I just mentioned 
is that you should try to write your dreams down as soon as you wake up. You should try to write your dreams down as soon as you wake up because that's the best time for you to remember as much of the dream as possible and as much of the details as possible. So sometimes I'll wake up at 3 a.m. and just like, you know, because I'm in between sleep cycles, 3 to 4 a.m. So I'll wake up just so I can write down those symbolic dreams. And let me tell you, those 3 to 4 a.m. dreams are very interesting. <laughs> those are the ones that were like otherworldly, higher conscious type, type interesting, out of, world, out of this world type stuff. The ones that are closer to my wake time are, are a little more normal, if you will. Um, in any case, write your dreams down as soon as possible with as much detail as possible. If you need to um, do a voice recorder of your dream, do that. Like, do whatever it takes. I know that sometimes when I'm trying to write, like, half asleep, it's kind of hard. Some of the words come out jumbled. So when I read them, um, when I'm fully awake, I'm like, what the heck was I, <laughs> was I saying? Or what words was I saying? But, you know, try to be as accurate as possible. And I promise you that you will find really interesting insights from those dreams that you have. So on that note, I will leave you guys happy dreaming, happy manifesting, and happy symbolism understanding in all of your dreams. And above all, have great, great rest and relaxation. Have a good one. Bye.